Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com In this video we're going to have a quick look at this Acer Spin 5 This is a 7th gen Intel i5 based uh, processor a Convertible and um, we're going to have a look at what the performance is like, what it feels to use and uh, quick look at some of the specs so, so in this video we'll have a look at the performance of it, we'll have a look at the specs and uh, we'll quick look what it's like to use So. Before I fire up, I'll just show you the available ports and things on it. We've got a micro SD card, volume rocker, power, headphones, and Kensington lock. And over here, we've got HDMI, USB 3, two USB 2 ports, and oh, that's the headphone socket on there, so that would be the power, power socket over on the back. So this is a convertible, where it'll fall right back on itself, and you can use it as uh, a tablet. It's a bit thick, I guess, when you're using it in tablet mode, but it's more of a convenience thing, I think, to be honest, to be able to have that. If you want to, a, a, you know, a thin tablet, then maybe there's something like the Surface Pro or some of the tablets from Acer are probably a better option. But the nice thing is, proper laptop. It's got a touch screen on it as well, um, and you know, when you push it, it doesn't. It's on a cardboard box here while I'm just filming it, but it doesn't move about. So you know, you've got a nice solid feel to it. Right, so the specs, it's got a 13.3 inch screen and um, an i5 processor, so this is a 7th gen i5 processor, 64 bit version Windows obviously, 8 gig of RAM and uh, this is a 256 gig SSD drive. SSD drive actually is quite important, I'll come back to that when we have a look at how it works. Uh, Windows 10 home, 1.6 kilo, kilograms in weight. It's, it actually feels quite heavy when you use it like that. Not as a laptop, but as a tablet it does. But I don't know, there, there are lighter devices on the market if you want more of a, of a tablet. The screen resolution 9020 by 1080 and uh, it's 10, mil 10 millimeters thick. And Acer say you get around 10 hours of battery. So let's actually give it a play and let's see what we can do with it. So what's it like to use? Well. Let's talk about the keyboard first. The keyboard has a nice solid feel to it. It not too much travel on there. Um, some of the lower cost uh, Ace devices have a bit of, sort of squishiness as you press them down. This isn't the case on there. It's quite solid. There's a bit of movement, not too much. And the keys have got a nice light touch to them as well. There's not a huge amount of travel. Not uh, the kind of keyboard I like. So. I definitely like the keyboard. There's no number pad or anything else, but you wouldn't expect that on this size of device. I think it's a precision touch, let's have a quick check. So there we go, it has got a, uh, a precision touch um, a trackpad on there, which means you get the uh, gestures, so three finger tap, four finger tap and slides, you can use it for switching desktops and that kind of thing, um, alt tabbing and all sorts, so uh, you can see those in, in Windows 10. This is definitely a good touch pad, I quite like that. There's a a definite click to it but you don't have to click you can you can tap or you can you can click yourself if you want to so um, I actually quite like this combination of uh, keypad and uh, trackpad when it comes to the screen the screen resolution that's pretty you know that's it's not bad for a 13 inch device and uh, 1920 by 1080 it's nice and clear it's not particularly too reflective. It's hard to see on the camera. You can probably see it just reflecting the lights a little bit. I've seen, I've used some devices, especially ones without touchscreen, that tend to have that sort of matte feel, and I don't really like that. I prefer this nice, uh, clear, bright screen on there. So I think that's quite nice. So screen is uh, good performance on there. So I've been playing about with the machine, and I found that the, um, the actual performance in Windows is pretty good. You can open apps go between apps pretty quickly and I think that partly down to the SSD drive so that means it's rather than having a uh, spinning hard drive it's got a um, an SSD drive and the SSD drive is much faster access than the spinning hard drive so it's a solid state drive and that makes this work uh, nice and fast there's not that long pause that you can get with machines that uh, have got hard drives another thing with having the 8 gig of RAM as well and it means that um, it's not going to be running out of RAM all the time, so it's not going to be paging the, you know, using the extra hard drive to, uh, to as the overflow for the RAM and the paging system. So I think that makes it quite good in terms of performance. It's quite snappy when using it, and um, 
you know, using the web and opening apps, everything open. And this is, the, I mean, I've, I've just set this machine up tonight, so you know, opening things for the first time is is nice and fast, and that is really nice, uh, refreshing change. Because I've used some machines recently. I've had a lot of paging on there. We'll give Minecraft a, a go. I think it may want to download it from the store. We'll we'll see. So while we're, we'll, uh, I'll get Minecraft sorted out, I'll give you the price of this as well. So um, there's different configurations of it. This is the i5 version with 8 gig RAM and a 256 gig SSD. Around 650 quid on Amazon. They also do a 128 gig version at 533. So I think that's quite a good price for those. Some of the other similar sort of specs machines, maybe the Acer uh, Switch, the Aspire Switch range, they have a detachable screen. Um, they're less of a traditional sort of notebook, um, but a little bit more expensive. You could look at something like the um, Dell Inspiron. Another alternative one could be something like the Yoga uh, Lenovo Yoga 500. That's a 14-inch screen, similar specs, um, and a similar price as well. And that has a folding type one as well. Worth checking out those. And I think I've got a review of that one on the DigitalLife.com on our YouTube channel as well. So spec wise, I think uh, quite decent and I'm going to try Minecraft now and see what that's like. Right, so I've loaded uh, Minecraft up and it seems pretty smooth to play on Minecraft actually. Um, this is the Windows 10 version of it and it's nice and smooth. You notice I've got the, um, the volume on, I've actually got the volume on full there. And it's not particularly loud but it's actually quite nice and clear. I do. I think that's quite a decent sound. We can try something else on the. Let's just quit Minecraft. We can try something else on the audio side. Let's just. DigitalLifestyle.com presents. Uh, there's a podcast loading, and that's actually quite loud and um, quite clear, really. It's quite a decent sound. I feel it sort of reverberate around, so that's quite a good sound on it as well. Well, in terms of battery life, well, I think uh, it's hard to say because I've been installing apps and rebooting this and doing some of the setup. I say about uh, 10 hours. Um, I've tried other devices where they claim that and I get pretty close to that, 9, 10 hours, something like that. So we'll see what this is like in a bit. But my initial impressions are of this that it's a very functional laptop. It's nice having the touch screen and having the convertible, being able to convert it around USB 3, a decent keyboard. Um, I know a couple of people I've talked to don't like these short keys on here. I can show those, those short keys. But actually, I'm, I'm quite used to using those uh, using uh, device like Surface Pro 3. So, good keyboard, definitely a good trackpad, nice screen, not particularly light, but nice uh, compact design and uh, decent battery life. So, I think this is quite a nice device. The i5 processor is, is actually really, really good on it as well. So. Uh, a nice device, they're around 600 quid, 650 quid for this spec, a bit lower if you, if you get the 1 to 8 gig drive. But I think a good machine if someone's looking for a, a traditional style laptop but with the option of doing a convertible. I'll have more details on the DigitalLifestyle.com where you can read a bit more about it and uh, look out for more reviews on our YouTube channel.